guys, it's Shava the Rat, and for today's video, I thought I would do a little bit of a video on my updated playpen. Um, I don't want to call it my new playpen because it's the same one I've been using, and I've been using it this way for the past, like, three years, but I haven't done a video on actually setting up my playpen or how I have my playpen out in about three years, so uh, I guess in regards to this sort of video topic, it is a new one. Anyways, let's go over how I have my playpen set up. And also I have a rat climbing me for some reason, so let's put her down. What are you doing, Pickle? Um, but anyways, my playpen is just what you see. Uh, it is a bunch of cardboard boxes that have been duct taped together. So you can see they're all duct taped. I do have a video on making it because like I said, it's three years old, so uh, I kind of need to update it. But until I do, I can link the video I have on making it. Uh, but the biggest difference from the video where I make it and all my other old playpen videos is simply that in those videos, I would make the playpen its own thing separate from the cage. Well, in this video, you can see that the cage is open. Uh, you can see Sugar's lovely stash of tissues, but the cage is open for the rats to come and go at will. So if we go over here, you can see that the cage and the open, sorry, I scared some of them, are attached by some Velcro. So you can see I have a Velcro right there and I have a Velcro on the cage and I just push them together, seal it tight. And then the rats would have to put in quite a bit of force to get it apart. Now, if they pushed hard enough, they could potentially push out, um, but I haven't had a rat actually push out of here before. So I think it's pretty unlikely. And I also, of course, have that for this side. Although on this side, I have the cage door here. So I have a little weight down below, which just keeps it open. And you can see the rat's wheel here. Well, one of their wheels. They have another wheel here, which I am only putting in the playpen area for now. Not because the rats can't use it in the cage, but because I have my cage set up differently than I usually do, uh, which I have another video on that that I forgot to post. Uh, so I will be posting that soon, hopefully. Hello, you're so cute. By the way, they can totally come out. There is, you can kind of see it. There is a hole up here. You can see that hole that connects the two layers. Oh my gosh, she's blocking it with her nose. Pickle keeps climbing me. Pickle, what are you doing? Why are you gonna be a naughty little pickle? Hi, sugar. Uh, anyways, for this playpen, I basically just put it out each night and I attach it to the cage. And then I put out some other things for the rats to play with. I went pretty low key today. This is what I've kind of been doing recently, not going too far out. And the rats still seem to like it a lot. Uh, but basically I'll put up a chair. I'll put up this footstool. Sometimes I'll put up a ramp as well. And then I'll also put up some boxes. Um, I'll put up their clown hide, their wheel, a few other houses and stuff, and also some cardboard and the plastic water bottles. So I know those might seem a bit strange, uh, but the rats do enjoy dragging them around, sometimes chewing on them a bit. Uh, they don't actually swallow the plastic, so it's safe for them to chew on them. And then after this, I just put them in the recycling after washing them off. So. Uh, it works out pretty well. So yeah, that's pretty much it for my playpen. Uh, one nice thing about it is that it does fold. So you can see that there are some kind of crisp corners and that's because I folded it for three years now, uh, but it just folds into this nice little compact piece and I will have a picture of that. Um, but anyways, that can easily fit in the storage closet behind me, which is where all the rat stuff is kept. There's Pickle going on the wheel. It was like, I always have to run on the wheel even if I have tons of space. I need to sprint. This is part of why I like giving them a wheel because they just like sprinting so much that even if they have an entire playpen's worth of area to do it, sometimes they would prefer to just run and gallop on the wheel where they can go infinitely. Uh, and this wheel is a 15 inch by six inch. It's a really nice size. Anyways, that is it for this video. Uh, I typically sit on this blanket here and have another blanket on uh, during free range so the rats can kind of crawl under my blanket uh, and enjoy themselves because they are burrowing animals and they really like getting to crawl under things, especially if the area underneath is warm and dark. But yeah, there really isn't anything else to say about this area. I do keep my training prompts that I'm using for the day up here. Uh, these actually reside in the closet usually, but I'll take out the ones that I plan to use daily and keep them up here when they're not in use so they don't get chewed and stuff like that. Uh, and I also have my coffee with me here, so and that is nice. Um, but otherwise, that's pretty much it. I, what? What are you guys doing? Oh my gosh, will you chill? You guys have no chill sometimes. Yeah, see, this is what I mean when I say Pickle can be dramatic. Just let her be. Pickles was just being a little bit dramatic, so I wanted to nip that in the bud. But anyways, that is it for this video. Oh, hi, Egg. Oh, it's a little baby Egg. Look at her, she's so tiny. Hello, Egg. Uh, but anyways, like I said, that's it for this video. Jeez, you guys are real hyped right now, huh? Why are you so hyped? My poor egg. What you doing, Donut? Why are you being a little butt face? Are you the one causing all the trouble, Donut? No, Olive. Hi, Olive. <laughs> What's going on? Why is everyone being a butt face right now? Hmm? What's going on? 
Hi, baby. Okay, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and if you have any other questions, feel free to ask. Okay, that's it. Bye.